our homes, our churches, and our schools to somehow counteract this diabolical effort to destroy our young people and our children. My heart goes out. And God can see us through today, but I want to tell you something. He's not going to do it while we're sitting around selfishly squandering us on ourselves and neglecting our children and failing to see that they get a Christian education. learned that sacrifice was not a sign that God didn't care, that loss was not that God had forsaken you, that difficult places in our lives were the things that would shape us and make us. And, and the, part of, the part, at least a great part of that, came through the preaching ministry and the teaching ministry of Dr. Heron, who taught us that, and we believed it, Brother Rob French. Uh, also in the last years of his ministry there in those years was tremendous influence on us his humility his gracious spirit it, that's what it was about and I think that's what we tried to imbibe and I think through the years it's held us steady the most important thing with Dr. Heron was that you be a person of character of integrity that that's what mattered most you could be talented, you could be gifted, you could be well educated. But if you were not a man or a woman of principle and character, then what did all that matter? And he impressed that on us again and again through his preaching and his teaching and it caught. And so through these years of ministry, the many years at Hope Sound, um, 34 years of being there on campus and being involved were, were good years. They were years of challenge, they were years of course of sacrifice, and, but they were years of molding and making us what we are today. I was up for missionary convention and I was urging on the, young, on the students of that year to have a vision of a lost world and just to think in their minds and to try to grasp what it meant for people to actually go into eternity without Jesus. Well, after service, Brother Herod had me up to his house. We had a bowl of ice cream, and he said something that really impacted me, and I'll never forget. He said, Raymond, you know, it's wonderful to have a burden for a lost world, but that won't keep you going. That won't keep you going because you're not going there because they want you. You're going there because the Lord sends you. And if you don't go because God sends you and because you have a real love for Jesus, and are going for Jesus' sake, not for a world's sake, not for lost souls' sake. Do all that you do for Jesus' sake. And uh, that really helped me to reevaluate. He didn't diminish the need for a vision for, of a lost world, but he did say it's for the love of Jesus because people are going to reject you. You go to some people, they don't want you. They don't know they need you. But if Jesus sent you, then you'll persevere. Bible college is incredibly important. S.D. Heron saw that. That's why this place is here. Dr. Whitaker saw that. That's why he gave himself. And today, just as much as ever, we need a hope sound. We need a place where young people can have their lives shaped and molded and touched by the hands of loving, godly people. God didn't call us to be phenomenally successful by the world standard, but he did call us to make the sacrifices necessary, to have the passion required, and to have the vision to see the harvest, to let people know Jesus Christ and make him known through our lives. And that's still what we're about at Hope Sound.
The principles and values that were taught across the years and through the lives and leaders that have made up Hope Sound Bible College and Academy continue to impact our world today.